Hello, Dan Housen here. Dan Housen here to let you know that you are watching Dre41 Gaming. They do video games of some sort. Who knows? Dan Housen doesn't. But they are very nice, very evil. Do time. And if you do not watch this channel, you shall rue the day. What's up, y'all? It is your boy Dre41, a.k.a. Mr. 4K, a.k.a. Spicy Dre, and welcome to another episode of the Let's Talk podcast. On this episode today, we have the developer of the Project Joshi game. You might have seen it on uh, Twitter a couple of times there. We got Pilot in the building. What's going on, man? Hello, everyone. Thanks for having me, Dre. Hey, I'm man. happy to be here. Once Hi. again, I, I have to say thank you very much for inviting me. And um, I'm very flattered that you think I'm worthy enough to be on your podcast. So thank you very much. Listen, man, re a developer for a wrestling game is always welcome on this podcast. I said it time and time again, man. I'm I'm always interested in seeing like what the community and, and people of the you know wrestling game community have for, for us as fans. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, we always have been getting the same type of wrestling games year after year. And, you know, when somebody decides to, you know, not walk through the door that's already been built and, and make their own path, that always intrigues me. And I'm always interested in, to, you know, speaking with people who are, who are doing that. And you're definitely one of them, especially with this project. Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, not a problem. So growing up, um, were you a wrestling fan? How did you get into it? Absolutely. Um, I remember... <sighs> Growing up in the, the late 90s, I remember just being, I, I remember being at my friend's house and my brother was there and like, we were just, you know, there was about like four or five of us. I think it was just like, you know, summer holidays. I don't know if you have that in America, but like we have, you know, summer holidays, we have like six weeks off. And I remember- It's, uh, it's summer vacation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I remember we were all around at uh, our friend's house and we were all watching wrestling and I, it's the first time I was exposed to it and I just, I remember seeing all these characters like Kane. I remember, I remember, I'm not a huge fan of Kane, but mm -hmm. for whatever reason, Kane left the biggest impression on me. Mm. And that's, that's my first memory of just seeing this huge just guy just dressed in red and, you know, wearing a mask. I just thought it, like he, he was super, super interesting. And then like, obviously like other characters like Stone Cold, The Rock, DX. Um, so my introduction to wrestling was during the Attitude Era. Oh, okay. And, and uh, since, yeah, I've just, uh, I've just been a fan since. I think I've, I've been on and off. Hmm. So that's like maybe I got in like maybe 1998, maybe. Hmm. Um, and like, you know, kind of four years I was watching it and then four years off and then four years back on. And that's kind of how I've been. And it wasn't until maybe 2016 hmm. um, that I've like kind of like full-time just been following the scene so yeah mm -hmm. that's kind of just a brief introduction okay so within that time were you a fan of the wrestling games did you play those as well yes um the the very first wrestling game i don't know if many people uh will remember it it was a game called wwf attitude ah and, one of my favorites yeah that was on the, the ps1 mm -hmm. and um even still um i have good memories from that game and that game Initially, that game. Uh, so there's there's um, there's a way that the computer. I never figured it out when I was a kid, but there was a way that the computer could lift you up, um, walk you to like the edge of the ring, and just throw you over the top rope. Yeah. And whenever that happened, I I was just I, I just couldn't figure out how to do it. I would pick D'Lo Brown, I'd pick Kane, I'd pick <laughs> whoever it was that was doing it to me. I'd pick them, and I tried to do it, and I could never replicate it. And even still to this day, I can just remember that. Yeah. And um, I just love that kind of that freedom, that creativity that it gives you where you can um, you can throw your opponent wherever you want them to go. Yeah. It's not just, you know, you perform, uh, you know, you perform a grapple and you do a suplex or whatever. You can throw them over the top rope or you can throw them into the table. So that kind of added element of, you know, freedom is kind of like, you know, the, the first like inspiration I had to make my own wrestling game. Mm. Um, and then I played the, the SmackDown games and those mm -hmm. I played those nonstop. Um, I loved the first mm -hmm. SmackDown, the second SmackDown, just bring it. Like I buy every single SmackDown every year. <laughs> um, and then I, my cousin had an Xbox. I never had an Xbox, but my cousin did. And I remember playing WWF Raw. Oh. Um, 
yeah, because like PlayStation had SmackDown, Xbox had Raw. I think GameCube had um, stuff like Day WrestleMania, of Day of Reckoning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, I never played any of the N64 games, which I, I what? to this day, yeah, to this day, despite <sighs> its reputation, I have never ever played No Mercy. What? Oh I'm, no! I'm, I'm, uh-uh. I'm, a, <laughs> I'm a wrestling game developer, and I've never <laughs> played No oh. Mercy. Everybody's favorite. I don't Why? know how. I'm, what? I'm not quite sure. Oh my goodness, me! You're missing. Yo, you gotta get a, a Nintendo 64. You yeah, I, mean, I, I, I had an N64, but I, I just never played No Mercy. I don't know. I think I was just obsessed with SmackDown, and I was really satisfied <sighs> with SmackDown and the PlayStation. So, I, Listen, I'm telling you, if you ever get the opportunity to get your hands on a copy of... And it's just, this is just my opinion. A lot of people will have their ideas of what the best wrestling games for N64 was. You know, you get a lot of people that say WCW versus NWO Revenge or versus The World. I would say the two games that, if you ever get the chance, No Mercy and Virtual Pro Wrestling 2. Okay. Those two right there for me, and I would say Virtual Pro Wrestling comes in at number one. Uh, No Mercy is at number two. Mm -hmm. Uh, Virtual Pro Wrestling came out uh, just right before No Mercy. And it had All Japan in it, New Japan, FMW, uh, MMA fighters in there. Oh, okay. it, it just, it was an incredible game. It, okay. it really right. was an incredible game. And I, w- I would, I think you would like it if you, I mean, yeah, you got to get used to the graphics, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think That's you, no problem for me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it's a great game. Even like people try to crap on attitude all the time. And I tell mm-hmm. them, they, they always say, oh, well, the controls. In 1999, yeah. these yeah. are the controls that we were used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like we play fighting games, so. With wrestling games, it was it was so different on the PlayStation that they had to have inputs like it was a fighting game, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yes, so, but yeah, no, you got it. You got to play them, some N sixty four wrestling games <laughs> if you ever yeah. get a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but um, like even with playing those games, I mean, event you were saying that that eventually got you into the mindset of wanting to um make a wrestling game yourself. And which wrestling game was that that inspired you again? Um, it was uh, attitude. Attitude. Okay. One. Yeah. Okay. Now, what what aspect was it? Like, I mean, you did say the freedom because I remember, yeah. like, you even do like an overhead belly to belly suplex. You could throw them out the yeah. ring doing that. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's just, just it's just really simple stuff. It's, it's mm. just it it wasn't it wasn't like it was like a like a major major thing. But I think that was just kind of the the because that was my first ever wrestling game. So that mm. was kind of the introduction. And then the SmackDown series came out. Um, and I think you could do similar things uh, in oh, the yeah. SmackDown games, um, but I don't know. Like I, whatever, it, I don't know. I don't know. I can't really explain. But that was just kind of the you know the starting point of like you know I can do this. I can do whatever I want. You know what I mean? Like if yeah. I want to throw him out the ring, I can throw him out the ring. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was just this attitude that really sort of kicked off my inspiration as a kid yeah okay now now with that being your inspiration what route did you take as far as schooling go uh to start making this dream come true um so even though i loved um playing games at school uh, uh, as, as a kid um i didn't really uh, like so uh, how can I put this? So uh, when I was at school, I was really into football, what okay. you, you guys call soccer. Yeah. Um, I was really into football. So that was like my, my real passion at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, didn't, I didn't really want to get like a, like, I didn't want to be, you know, have a day job or anything like that. I just really wanted to play football or if I wasn't going to play football, I wanted to do something, you know, that I didn't necessarily have to go to school for. Okay. If that makes sense. So like in terms of like, you know, on an academic level, I, my my path didn't really go in that direction in terms of like uh, programming. I only really got into computer programming in like 2013. Oh, okay. I think about maybe what, that's like nine years ago now. Yeah. Um, so um, yeah, so that, and like back in 2013, I made like one or two really bad games. Um, so that was kind of my introduction, but like anything before that, I never really had any, I mean, I kind of wanted to make games, but I 
didn't really want to go to school for it, if that makes sense. No, I understand. I just, I, never, I never had any interest in like studying or like whatever. I was just into other things at the time, anyways. So. Mm. Okay. So, so how did you develop your skills in order to get to where you're at now? Um, well, uh, I took a big risk back in uh, 2020 when the pandemic hit. Um, okay. And uh, everyone had lots of time. Um, I just said, okay, well, I'm going to take full advantage of this and I'm just going to use up all my savings, basically. Mm. And um, since the pandemic, since I, I started working on this game in September of 2020, okay. and I've maybe missed about six days since mm. where I haven't worked on the game. So I've been working on this game just nonstop, relentlessly. Wow. Um, so I like the more you do things, the more you start to get the hang of doing them. So, as I just spending non stop, um, watching videos of Unreal Engine, um, animating, and just, just, just like I didn't care at, at the moment, like nothing's changed. I don't care to do anything else with my time, like, mm. this is currently the only thing that matters to me, you know. Mm. Thankfully, it might sound a little bit like maybe dark but thankfully I don't have any I don't have a family I don't have kids I don't have a wife so I don't have any like nobody depends on me so I can yeah. completely put pour all my time into something that I really want to do yeah um so um yeah it's just it's just a non-stop um everyday grind um mm. and then eventually you just you just learn things and things become easier and um, that's just kind of, you know, how I've uh, learned how to program and everything. Mm. So, it, just, so it just started with a huge risk yeah. back in 2020 and uh, just giving myself all this time and um, using my time wisely. I, I don't get distracted. Mm. I, I um, every day, literally every day I just wake up when I just Unreal Engine or I'm animating or I'm in Blender, you know, I'm working on the game. As I said, I just, I'm not interested in anything else, and I, I think I'm in a I have a good I'm in a good headspace. Okay. So I can't I can't allow myself to you know get you know distracted by anything. So I think it's it's paying off. I think it's paying off at least. Yeah, I mean you could tell by just the, the updated post that you do make on your uh, social media on your Twitter, which we will have a link to in the, in the description below. Thank you. But also even looking at your work, man, it, you know you can see solely just even if you're looking at the animations you know you're looking at the animation work that you do and it looks smooth you know like you can tell the improvements that you make you can tell that you're you're putting into account you know camera angles and and making it look like it's a, a televised event as opposed yeah. to just like a you know hard camera that's all you get you yeah, know what yeah, I'm exactly saying? exactly yeah yeah. That, yeah i think that's a that's a really um that's an aspect of wrestling that I think as spectators, we don't really take into account. Like, I'll give you an example. Um, if you ever watch Brock Lesnar, um, yeah. every single time he does an F5, he will rotate and face the TV camera. You'll never see him do an F5 with his back to the camera or yeah. his side to the camera. He's always, always dead staring the camera right down when he does an F5. Yeah. I think that kind of um, camera awareness that wrestlers have is something that we don't really take into account because of how important it is to make sure that certain moves are captured in the in the right manner it's like um mm. another thing is uh like like wwe does this i don't know if any other promotion does this but like just mm. just little things where like when they know a certain move is going to be performed, they kind of open the lens and then they close the lens real quick and they kind of zoom in and zoom out. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. That's another effect. So it's... it's, it, it's that's, that's definitely a WWE thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's this, this whole, like, choreography that, like, um, that is really, as, as I said, it's like we kind of take it, I don't want to say for granted, but... <laughs> It's under it's an underestimated quality of pro wrestling that I I'm really trying to um, include into this game. 
Mm. Um, so camera angles and whatnot are a really important aspect. Um, I, I know you, you mentioned animations as well. Um, yeah. I have to say, you know, thank you for the compliment, but I still think yeah. I've got a long, you know, a lot of a lot of work to do with animations. Um, and um, there's there's a lot of um, rotations and like root motion and like there's a really lot of uh, complicated stuff. Um, it's taken me a long time to kind of like grind down to where it is now, but I think finally like I'm in a good place with animations. Yeah. It's just I need more time to just get better overall. Yeah. I spent a lot of time in the last week on animations. It's pretty much all been animations. So, oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm looking at it right now and it's like, you know, you got like the headlock takeover into the, the head scissors into the kip oh, I need to rework that, yeah. No, no, but I mean, you I can, can but, it, but it's not blocky. You know what I'm saying? You yeah, can tell yeah. that there, there's a, still a smoothness to it. And, and that's attention to detail that, you know, you can tell that this is definitely a passion project for you. Yeah, it is 100%, yeah. yeah now, getting into to this game that right now you have called the uh, Project Joshi, um, going into it in the beginnings, did you have a set name or is this the set name or wh where, what, where did you get the name from? Um, so I actually have... Uh, before I started this project, mm -hmm. I had another project, something, um, but I was, I, I was really, it wasn't a wrestling game, it was something else, um, but I was really struggling with that. So I just thought, okay, let me put this game to the side and let me try to make something else. And mm -hmm. um, I know I wanted to call it Project Something, but I, there's no like kind of like a term for women's wrestling um, in, the, in the West. So... I just, Joshi was just the first thing that just, you know, we, we, we all know what Joshi is. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, uh, Joshi doesn't really mean women's wrestling. It's, it's Joshi pro res, but um, the Joshi just means female. Um, yeah. And as far as the name, uh, no, it's not going to, it's not the final name. Uh, it's just a working title. Uh, I've, got, I've got some ideas on what to call the game. Uh, mm -hmm. When it gets to a point where I can, you know, get into that stage of production, yeah. um, but as of right now, it's just Project Joshi. Okay, and, and I also seen on your Twitter account that you um, initially started doing like some some drawings of how the models were going to look and some of the oh, attires. Yeah, oh my God. yeah I, I, listen, I did a deep dive. <laughs> oh, so, um, is that something that you're going to implement into the game as far as like? Uh, uh, with, with the characters that are going to be in the game, is it going to be more of like generic, but you can tell who they're who they are? Is that what you're what you're going for? Um, when you say you can tell who they are, do you mean as in like parodies or? Yes, yes. For for lack no. of better words, yeah. No, no, no. They're going to be completely original okay. new um, characters. I've got like at least ten characters um, that I've designed. Okay. Um, and uh you know they've they've got their names they've got their move sets i know what they look like um mm. i even have music set up oh. for them um so but i i can't you know get into that stage yet because there's still a lot of stuff i have to do before i get to that point mm -hmm. um but it's as it's like um similar to rumble roses you know all original characters it's no different um so yeah, it's it's all just. I, I just think that's like a that's like what's what makes wrestling fun is is the, is the not not just watching two people just wrestle. It's also yeah. you know two characters, you know, and you know it's about having fun. And I think you know having good characters is really important, and having original characters is also really important. So yeah. as I said, my inspiration all just comes from the Attitude Era, and you know. Colorful yeah, characters. Never had, yeah, like I remember, like when I was a kid um, in the UK, we also had um, WCW. Mm -hmm. They showed that um, over here as well, but I could never get into WCW because they mm. just, comparatively, they they just did not have diversity in terms of um, characters that the WWF were you offering. You don't think so? In my opinion, no. I think, in my opinion. Everyone in WCW just wanted to be just a big macho guy. That's just how I thought of it. It's not yeah. like WWE where, or WWF where it's like you have 
a guy with a mannequin, you know, walk into the ring. And then you have a guy that drenches his opponents in blood, you know, after the match. Or you have a guy that's like, you know, pulls off, you know, a, a wet towel and, you know, says, hello, ladies. You know what I mean? You just have one crazy character to another crazy character to another crazy character. So comparatively, I just don't think WCW really had that. I mean, I think they had characters. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say they, they had no characters whatsoever, but just this, uh, the diversity comparatively is just, you know, WWF was just offering you know, a completely different product. So mm. I could never really get into WCW. The, the, their characters just never really appealed to me. Okay. Okay, that's you know that's understandable. It's understandable. I mean, but you know, I tell everybody all the time. You know, I mean, the '90s was a great time for wrestling because you could watch yeah. it every single day, and every other every day you can see a different company. You know, yeah, so yeah. that was definitely a great thing. But but also getting back into you know Project Joshi, yeah. Um, in regards to just the the look of the game, and matter of fact, let's let's get into the engine that you're using which is Unreal yeah. 4. Um, what was yeah. the, uh, the decision process in utilizing that? Um, so again, I, I mentioned it before, but there was another game that I was actually um, interested in making. Mm -hmm. And um, I, was, I, was, I was watching a lot of Unreal Engine uh, videos to, to do that. Um, mm -hmm. And I just thought that like, excuse me, Unreal Engine is just a whole lot more powerful okay. than other engines. Um, I think, like, uh, I mean, to me, the only options, because I wasn't making a 2D game, I was making a, a full 3D game. So mm -hmm. the only real options are Unity and Unreal. And I just think Unreal just has a lot more options okay. going for it. And I think, most of all, um, the, real attractive, the, the real attractive point um, to Unreal was the Blueprint system, because mm -hmm. I just cannot stand um, typing code. I, I just I just cannot do it. I, I really can't. So the yeah. whole blueprint system that Unreal has is um it's it's for people like me that just don't basically want to you know type C plus plus code all day. You know, gotcha. I think Unity has their own maybe has their own um, visual scripting system, but I, it's not on the same level as Unreal. Unreal's is is really really good. Mm. So yeah. Okay, now this is also, you know, this this game within itself is also a turn-based RPG. What was the decision to go into the, uh, to go in that direction? Um, oh man, because um, I seen when you first were showing the game off, you were running around the arena, you know, yeah, showing yeah. like you know the movement. So, was there a time where you decided like you wanted to switch it, or was this always the plan? Um, it's, it's quite an open-ended question. Um, so I remember back in, when I was working like my day job in like 2014, mm -hmm. I remember like, you know, saying to myself, it would be really cool if, you know, maybe one day I can make, you know, a wrestling game with like RPG elements, you know, mm -hmm. so like when, when you do a suplex, you get like 10 points if you do like, a uh, uh, a destroyer, a Canadian destroyer, you get like a hundred points. If you do a Canadian destroyer off the top rope through a burning table, you get five hundred points. You know, mm. so that's kind of like an RPG system, like you know, points based system like that. So I, I kind of always had a desire to include RPG elements, um, but I think uh, going back to WWF attitude. Um, the whole kind of picking up your opponent, walking around and doing whatever you want with them, that, as I said, that was a big inspiration. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just, the game just, I don't know, it evolved um, into kind of like how wrestling is presented by the wrestlers, not by the fan, not, not by the, not by the, not how it's perceived as a, like, I don't know how to explain this. Like, so wrestling tries to advertise itself as like a fighting sport. Yeah, legitimate sport. Yeah, yeah, it tries to advertise it, but it can't. It's impossible because yeah. both wrestlers know how the finish is going to be, who's going to win. True. So, it's like, the competition is just there is no competition because how can you compete against somebody that you know you're going to lose to or you know you're going to win? Yeah, it's not a competition. You've both decided. It's it's almost like collusion. 
<laughs> basically. <laughs> right. 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 So rather than like, you know, kind of ignoring that, I kind of wanted to use that kind of, you know, okay, so we both know that you're going to win, but we need to decide, you know, how this match is going to go, how we're going to entertain the audience. Mm. Because since they're, they're not competing with each other, it's not like it's a boxing match where it's like the game plan is to, to knock your opponent out. It doesn't matter if it's five minutes or five seconds. Yeah. I, I'm just there to knock the opponent out. But with wrestling, it's not the same mindset. With wrestling, it's, you know, the complete opposite. They, they want to make sure they don't knock each other up because mm. they have... Um, a show to put on and like that aspect of putting on a show for the audience is where the turn-based um, style came in so it's it it came to a point where it was just like okay so it's wrestler a's turn to do four moves mm -hmm. and then at the end um, they go for a pin the, uh, the other wrestler kicks out and then it's their turn to do four moves and then it switches back and forth until it finishes and then that's the end of the match. And then depending on how those moves were used, if the crowd was interested, determines whether or not it was a good match. Okay. I hope, I hope that makes sense. No, no, I, I um, get it. So so is this um, RPG going to be based on, like, it, to win is match rating? So so you're yes. more figuring out how to, to impress the fans. So yes. there has to be, like, what, like a Correct. meter or something that you've got to yes, go yes. based off? Of? Okay. Yeah, absolutely correct. Um, so there's no damage. There's no like health bar system. You know, it's not about you know hurting your opponent. It's just about doing moves that make sense at the right time. Okay. So I mean, you, so like for example, you could do your finish like you could do your finishing move five seconds into the match, and it could be a one, two, three finish, and that could be your match. You can completely do that. That's fine. Or you could go for like a twenty-minute match. And it's kind of like back and forth, nonstop. And, you know, it's, you, tr you try to make an instant classic, as they call it. Um, and then, like, you know, based on how the match um, was performed, um, the audience is going to have their reaction. They're going to have their opinion. And then that opinion is the score for your match, mm. basically. Okay. So, yeah. It's, oh. it's not so. It's not. I, you know, <laughs> this is the first time I've spoken about this game, and I just, I just realized like it's not an easy game to to really kind of explain. Yeah. I'm trying my no, best. And then that's why I wanted to, you know, just you know, have my little, you know, my my questions in regards yeah, to yeah. like, uh, could it be, you know, this, you know, so so yeah, you know, uh, what you're saying does make sense, and I, and I definitely understand it. Um, so implementing that into a game, then how, you know. From my and from the outside looking in, um, so yeah. the better matches you perform in, regardless if you win or lose, you still move up. Um, well, um, you you've you really asked a quite a striking question because you say move up, that implies that there's like some sort of career mode, and I haven't. Oh no no no! Oh, see, I, <laughs> I, okay, <laughs> let's let, let's not jump. No no no, it's, it's fine. It's fine, because because actually that is my intention. I do want to make like a career mode. Mm -hmm. um, so um, what you say about like moving up, it's like it's it's also you know ties into what I said about like having like a, a five second match because you know WWE does that all the time. They have like these big monsters, and they come to the ring and they destroy their opponent in like you know five seconds. But mm -hmm. that in itself, what that will do is that will emphasize the character so that will make him look more like a monster or her more, look more like a, a monster so um it's not necessarily about like having a quality match but it's also about building a wrestler as well and making them um giving like building their persona you know mm -hmm. so if you if you have like a wrestler on your card and you want to book them as a monster heel those are the kinds of matches that you're going to be booking them in so you will get points. You will get like monster points or something. I don't know. I, I haven't thought that far ahead. Yeah. But that's kind of like, you know, you know how it's going to be. I want to have that kind of like, it's not just about winning or losing. It's about how you look during the match and after the match. Okay. You know? So like, like you could lose a match, mm -hmm. but you could end up looking better than your opponent because mm -hmm. your moves 
were performed in better times during the match and the crowd oh, okay. were more behind you because of how you how you performed during the match. You know? okay. I just think this this I just think there's elements of pro wrestling in a video game that just haven't been explored. Yeah, you know? absolutely. And that, so, that is true. Yeah, so like that that's you know kind of where this turn based RPG genre, you know, comes into play, you know? No, definitely. And and like I said, this is this is, you know, you know, as as a developer, you know, you're 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 creating your own path right now. Yeah. Because you know it, it, it's it's no one else is, is doing this. No, I mean, a lot of the times you you find as you know you play the same wrestling games or the same wrestling game franchise year after year, it's more or less the same. You know, they treat it as do your moves, get your pin. As long as you win, you continue yeah. on, so on and so forth. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I, and I don't have anything against that because that's completely mm-hmm. fine as well. But I just yeah. think that, like, there's so much more to explore in, like, yeah. pro wrestling. Mm-hmm. I don't think other developers... I do, if, I'm, if I'm being completely honest, I think the certain developers have just got really comfortable. So they don't attempt to try new things. They have yeah. no interest in trying new things. Mm-hmm. So, like, thankfully now, you know, we live in a time where anybody can make their own game. You know, it doesn't matter right. who you are, what you look like what your age is, what country you're from, anybody can make a game. And Unreal Engine is free. Unity is free. You know, there's basically all the game engines are free. You just need a good quality computer and mm-hmm. who knows where you could go. Exactly. Now, that's really true. Um, another aspect to any, you know, game, especially wrestling games, is the sound. Um, yeah. So what, what, what are your plans in regards to this? Crowd sounds? You already said that you have, you know, the theme songs. Um, so, so what? As far as, and you know, not jumping too far into the future, but in your mind, what are the what 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 audio do we hear while we're playing this? Um, I don't know if I should mention this. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't want to leave anything off the table, but I don't know if I should. I mean, no, let's leave stuff off the table. I mean, you know, like I let people, you know, let it marinate with some of the information, not all okay. of it. Okay, I mean, I, it's a bit difficult to, because I have a vision of mm-hmm. where I want to take audio, but mm-hmm. I can't do it right now because I just don't have the funds to okay. do that. I could probably, like, you know, uh, like, make some fake, you know, running and, like, you know, make a fake sound of, you know, when a, when a wrestler hits the mat and things like that. I could probably do that. But it's not. It wouldn't be the final um, audio I'd use. As far as um, music, mm-hmm. I could do all the music myself because I do actually write music. Mm. Um, and I do also want to include some voice acting. I don't oh. know. I don't know. I don't know. Like to what extent? Because again, I'm just a solo developer. I, you know, I don't, I don't want to make things too much. You know, too big for myself. Yeah. Um, but I, I definitely want to include some voice acting. Um, and I guess audio, I don't know. That That's kind of like a, a future thing. So I haven't okay. really thought too much in, you know, about the audio. But okay. that, that, those are my some of my thoughts that I have uh, okay. in, in regards to audio. All right. No, no, not a problem with that. And so also with this game as well, do do you see yourself utilizing keyboard or are we, we can also use con- a controller with this? I'm both keyboard oh. and mouse and controller. Um, okay. there's, there's no way I'm, I'm a console, you know, kid, you know, there's, <laughs> there's no way I would ever, as long as I can, every game I ever make is going to be on console, no matter what. I, I wouldn't abandon console. In fact, if anything, I'd abandon PC. I'd abandon PC before <laughs> I abandon console. I hear that, man. I'm console till I die. Yeah, because I, I know for me, it was, I, I was utilizing a console so much, and then it was just eventually it was getting to a point of like, all right, you might have to get a PC. Yeah, And yeah, PCs yeah. can get very expensive. Yep, yep. And it's just like, ah, oh, I've been dodging. And I was like, okay, well, I got a laptop. Maybe I could play some games on my laptop. And I was like, yeah, but then once you reach a, a couple of years, you know, the, the processor, you won't be able to yep. play those games no more yeah. or, or newer yeah. ones. So it was like, all right, well, got to build one now. And yeah. about $2,000 into it, man, I finally have the build that um, 
I can run with for a while, you know. So, okay, yeah, but of good. course, I have an a Xbox controller plugged into it. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, there's no way I could just have PC, like a, a keyboard and tablet. I mean, a, a keyboard and mouse. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. It, it's yeah. mm, 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 yeah. not a fan. But I mean, yeah. you know, you evolve, you learn to deal with it. It is what it is. But no, um, but back to the game though. Um, so you said you have ten characters that that you have set in the game, correct? Yeah, yeah. Do they already have their names and looks down pat? Yes, they do. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm I'm going to put this uh, assumption in, and you can correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah. I feel like you're an artist. And I know when I'm creating anything, I always have a favorite. Do you have a favorite character that you designed in this game? Yes, I do. <laughs> I, I, I can't wait to, um, till I can show off these characters, but there's one mm -hmm. character that uh, she's a heel mm -hmm. and she's like really super confident. And I'll say one more thing. She runs a stable. She runs mm. a stable with two other wrestlers. Mm. But I, I don't want to give any weight any more than that. But okay. um, yeah, I, I'm really, I don't know. I, I don't want to like, you know, big myself up or anything, but I'm really excited for the characters that I'm developing. Oh, no, let's, let's, let's big yourself up by all means. Absolutely. Let's do that. I mean, you listen, you're the sole developer. You're making this happen. You are already doing big things right now. So, yeah. hey, by all means, absolutely. Smell your flowers right now, by all means. <laughs> <laughs> but but um yeah yeah um th there's that character um and I, I just I again like because I'm just inspired by the Attitude Era I just I feel like I've got a lot of really diverse characters but I, I'm also inspired by Rumble Roses as well because Rumble Roses had a like a, a really diverse character roster yes. as well yep, so I take really inspiration did. from there as well so um yeah I think I'm I'm in a good place with characters I think. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, like I said, looking from the outside looking in, man, this just looks like a very promising game. Um, I'm definitely whenever, you know, uh this you do plan on putting it for for Steam eventually. Yes. Okay. And uh I know people are gonna hate me for this, but I don't know if I should say it. Um <laughs> it will be on the the Epic Game Store as well. I want to. Ah. I want to get it. I want to get it everywhere. I want everyone to be able to play it. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and like I said, the whole thing is, man. As I would think, as a developer, and I, I also want to like put developer and artist into the to the into the same field. And I only want to say that because it's like, as as an artist, you want people to see your work. You're not yeah. just, you know. I, I think most artists, you know, have that talent to where they want to showcase it. So yeah, I mean, yeah. putting on, 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 you know, putting it in different places for people to get, it just it, it allows people to see your work. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You don't want to pigeonhole yourself into, oh no, we're just gonna put it right here, and whoever can see it right there can see it right there, and that's it. No, I mean by all means, put it out where you can yeah. get the most eyes. Yeah, that's I mean the like, like um, I grew up, and you know, with PlayStation and Nintendo, I've never owned an Xbox system. Um, but but even yeah yeah but even still I I want my game to be released on Xbox as well so you know if Sony came to me and you know they said you know we'll pay for exclusivity on PlayStation honestly I'd be really hesitant to give mm. them that because I'd want to release it to Xbox players and um, Switch players and you know just as many you know I I want it everywhere you know it's important that you know as many people play the game as possible. Because you know? like it's my my passion isn't business. My passion is game development. You know. No, that makes sense. That definitely makes sense, man. And I mean, like I said, I'm very interested in seeing where this game goes, man. Like, um, um I'm even like I said, I'm looking at footage of it right now. Like scrolling through, looking at footage, man, and it's it looks very very promising. And like I said, you know, even though you know you did state that you wanted to work on animations, man. Like I said, what I'm seeing right now. It's good. Like I, I like where it's going. You know what I'm saying. Even if you feel like it's a start, it's definitely a, a great start on you know yeah. where you're getting this game to go, man. Yeah. And I'm I'm very intrigued, and I'm happy that you came on as a guest, man. I, I definitely appreciate that. Okay. I I'm over the moon that you even asked me to appear. So I just... <laughs> listen. Don't be surprised. Listen, you are making a wrestling game. You you should have knew somebody was going to hit you up. <laughs> 
it was going to happen one way or another, you know? Yeah. I mean, I mean, sometimes I'll be honest, uh, it's a lot of hard work. Um, and sometimes I think other developers as well will attest to this. Is sometimes you work so hard and then you share things with people and you don't get the reaction that you want. It kind of, you know, it, it kind of tests, you know, you, you know, how, how you are as a person mentally. Mm-hmm. Um, because, you know, when you, when, when people see all this stuff on Twitter or YouTube, they see like, you know, 10 second clips and, you know, whatnot. These 10 second clips take days to make, to, to program mm-hmm. and to animate and to model yeah. and everything. It takes a long time. So, you know, sometimes you don't get the reaction that you want. So it's, it's, it's kind of, you don't always know if what you're doing is interesting enough for people, you know? Yeah, that, that's a fact. But you definitely are making your marks, man. Like I said, you know, it, it's, you know, it's just sole developer, but you're building your way up, man. I'm, I'm t- this, game, this game is definitely going to gain steam. I'm going to do my part in making sure people get to see this um, this project that you're on, man. I, thank you very definitely much. Definitely appreciate your time. I'm Thank you. You're giving us more options for wrestling games. I definitely appreciate that on my end. Um, but yeah, I want to thank you once again, Pilot, for being on the Let's Talk podcast, man. Any uh, final words you want to give the fans of uh, wrestling games? Um... Um, oh man, um, he kind of put me on the spot here. Um, <laughs> I tried. <laughs> uh, um, no, I mean, just thanks. To, I mean, if, if if anyone's made it this far, then obviously, you know, I guess they have, you know, quite the interest in the game. So, mm-hmm. um, rest assured, you know, this is all I do. I wake up and I work on this game, I don't do anything else. Um, I have let's, some, let's go and follow you on, on, on social media too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have a Twitter, Twitter, YouTube, um, Patreon, and I have a Wix site as well. It's all Pilot61. It's all the same. So, you know, if right. you have any interest, just follow me there. And, and we'll have all those in the link in the description below. So definitely, guys, if you want to help out, you know, help fund, uh, this great developer definitely do so. But once again, man, I just want to say thank you once again, and I appreciate you coming on the Let's Talk podcast. Thank you very much, Dre. Thank you very much. No, not a problem. And guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you would like to see in this game in the comment section below. But other than that, stay safe. Catch you guys on the next episode. Later. <laughs>